President Rodrigo Duterte offers a 1 million reward for the arrest, dead or alive, of each Abu Sayyaf member behind the foiled terror attack in Bohol. Duterte attends a security briefing in Bohol for the Association of Southeast Asian Nations Summit. Some ASEAN 2017 events will be held in Bohol this week. Residents alerted the police about the presence of three pump boats along the riverside of Sitio Elaya in Inabanga town on April 11. Six Abu Sayyaf members escaped during a clash between government forces and their group. Duterte says the attack was targeting ASEAN meetings to be held in Bohol this month. The president also says he wants to allow civilians to carry arms so they can carry out his orders against the terrorists. Duterte says he would pardon them if they end up having legal cases for killing someone. Russian warships dock in Manila Thursday for its second goodwill visit to the Philippines this year. A guided missile cruiser and a large sea tanker dock at Pier 15 in Manila South Harbor. The warships are part of the Russian Navy's Pacific Fleet. The goodwill visit comes a month before President Rodrigo Duterte's scheduled visit to Moscow in a bid to expand defense ties with new countries. Russian President Vladimir Putin invited Duterte to visit Russia back in November when they were in Lima, Peru for the 24th Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Leaders Meeting. In January, Russian anti-submarine ship Admiral Tributes visited Manila. The Trump administration on Wednesday clarifies confusing messages on the whereabouts of a United States supercarrier that was supposedly headed toward North Korea last week. The U.S. Navy last week said it was directing a naval strike group headed by the USS Carl Vinson aircraft carrier to sail north from the waters of Singapore as a prudent measure to deter Pyongyang. But the U.S. Navy on Tuesday admits the ships were in fact sent in the opposite direction, away from Singapore and toward Australia to conduct drills with the Australian Navy. Critics pounce on the discrepancy as a dangerous miscommunication, saying it fed into North Korea's narrative that America is all bluster and doesn't follow through on threats. Pyongyang attempted to launch a missile Sunday that blew up almost immediately after launch. U.S. Defense Chief Jim Mattis says the Pentagon usually doesn't give out ship schedules in advance. He says, quote, I did not want to play a game either and say we were not changing the schedule when in fact, we have. But Mattis insists the USS Carl Vinson will eventually go to the Korean Peninsula.